What's up, Fire Family? What's up, Fire Fam? Welcome back to my channel. It's Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do a collective reading for you all. All right, this is going to be for all the yet signs. So, guys, please do only take a resonate with you. And if it's a to fit. I hope y'all been doing great. I know it's been a few days since. Well, it's been about, yes, yeah, been a while. No, less than a week since I did a daily reading. But y'all said y'all wanted more zodiacs, and then I got busy. So I am. Um, I finished Gemini, Pisces. I got to do Cancer. All right, so y'all will get those uploaded today. All right, and then all the signs will be up. Okay, so. Let's see what's going on with you, Fire Fam. Let's hop in. Let's see what's going on with the collective. Right. If I resonate, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And if you guys would like to book with me, you already know fireintuition.com. Alright, so let's see what's going on with y'all. Universe. What's going on with the collective? All right, so we got boundaries and we got home. So what's going on at somebody's home? Trustworthy. Ex lover. Intuition. They want you to trust them, but they're still dealing with their ex in some type of way. And it seems like your intuition has told you this, or is telling you this, okay? Now, for some of you, they still see this ex, they still visit this ex, okay? And they've overstepped some boundaries, all right? So... Let's see where this is going. Let's see what's going on with this ex lover. We got heartbreak. I don't know how I just thought about heartbreak hotel. We got friendship. Because they're telling that they're like, so they may be like, oh, this is just my friend. Like, we're still friends. Or, no, this is their ex. Mm -mm. For some of you guys, they're just still too close with their ex. Okay, there's an X involved this year. Romantic feelings. Look, spying. And we got unfinished business. So, they, they spy on their ex. They still got romantic feelings for them. And they feel like there's unfinished business here. All right, they recently bought them something or did something for them. Maybe their birthday just passed or something. You know, Valentine's Day is coming up. But look, we got roses. They're like happy to see this person. So, I don't know, collective. Oh, mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Messages for the collective. Let's see. Messages for the collective. y'all the ex is moving back home so wherever you guys are living they're like moving back home so let's see Somebody that they haven't seen or that has been on their mind um, is about to reach out. So their ex is about to reach out and it's going to cause a lot of problems. Okay, because there's still feelings here. Um, and I feel like this is what the ex wants as well. I feel like this is what their ex wants. But with the intuition card, like I said, some of you guys pull cards, you do tarot. Maybe you guys listen to readings. You could have heard this from another reader or just heard it on a reading. 
you know, or maybe intuitively you're like, yeah, something is weird. Or they might have told you, you know, like, oh, yeah, my ex is moving back. Or you found out. Or you're going to find out. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I'm not liking this energy. Let's see, why is this here? Why is the magician here? They're going to act like they're coming in peace, that there's no problem, there's no issue. But look, told you, the ex is going to be an issue, five of swords. They're going to try to make it seem like it's no issue. You know, like, I don't want him. Like, or they're going to tell you, like, oh, I don't want them. Like, we're not together. Like, you know, I don't want to be back with them. That's why we broke up, all this type of stuff. But there's some bullshit going on. They want you to trust them. Like, your ex wants you to, I mean, your person wants you to trust that they're not going to do nothing with this ex. So, let's see what trustworthy is here. Could be a Virgo you guys are dealing with. For we got our Earth sign, Toy Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, they want you to trust them. But the issue is, it's not them that you need to be worried about. It's the ex. The ex is the one who has negative intentions. Wow. And this popped up in the Gemini reading. Okay, we know when the Queen of Wands, um, not Queen of Wands, when the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. She's me. She's evil spirited. She can be into like root work, hoodoo, voodoo. Well, I wouldn't say hoodoo, but like voodoo, dark magic, stuff like that. Okay, so... And then we got the intuition card here with tarot cards and stuff like that. So somebody is like in deep, like they're, they're doing something. They could be doing something towards this relationship, this connection. I just, I literally just picked this up in Gemini's reading. It's crazy. Um, wow, look, this person is your ex. Like I said, this person is their ex, not yours, but their ex. Ain't that crazy how as soon as I picked up the deck that came out? Look, they've been making moves on your lover just to piss you off. So whoever this is, like I said, this Queen of Pentacles in reverse is doing some slick shit. Okay? They're trying to be your friends. They're stalking, look, they're stalking your social media, trying to be your friend. They are, they are purposely causing problems with your love connection. See, look. So they're doing this on purpose. This, this hater is known to be a homewrecker. Okay, so I feel like the reason why it's coming up like that is because y'all have moved on. Like, y'all have a serious relationship. They haven't been with this person for a while. And I feel like this person is showing up. And y'all be careful. So their ex is back. It's going to be a motherfucking problem. Protect yourself. Protect your energy. Protect yourself at this time. This hater loves getting a reaction out of you. So I feel like it's going to get to that point where, you know, it's going to cause reaction. Wow, this hater is also putting a spell on your family. So this person is putting a spell on your family. As far as like, if you and this, if you and this person have a child together, they're putting negative energy on you. Your children are whoever they see on your social. So like, if you got your page and you're like, oh, they're like, you took a picture like with your mom or like your family, your post and stuff. They they are screenshotting and doing crazy stuff or they're just trying to send negative energy to you and your family to cause problems. Mm -hmm. They think they are better than you. This this hater is going to reaction out of you. And they can't shake the feeling that you are with this new person. I mean, with their ex. Yep, this person was their childhood friend, but I feel like also like a childhood lover could be like a high school sweetheart or something like that. Maybe when I say this is crazy. This is crazy. All of this for somebody. And it's coming out of nowhere because they've been broke up like this is like an ex from like a long time ago. Like this ain't no recent ex like right before you. This is somebody from a while ago. Uh, when it starts getting chaotic for them, they will disappear. So when shit starts to go crazy, backfire. And then we have, you will get to see karma get them, but be patient. Okay? So they will get their karma. 
okay when I say this person is nutty nuts nutty nuts okay so let's look into this intuition card why is this intuition card here Eight of Wands. So somebody is talking to somebody, pulling cards, getting readings, trying to figure things out. Yep, they're trying to see if this person is still in love with them with the King of Cups. They're trying to see if your person is still in love with them. Yeah, I know I keep 100 over here. Your person still has feelings for them. But at the same time, your person has let it be known that they're with you. Okay? Um, and that this is something that they can't give in to because they're in a relationship with you. All right? So... Let's go into this King of Cups. Then I'm going I'm to look into your person's feelings towards them. They're feeling towards your person. And just see that how this is going to unfold. Why is the Six of Pentacles in reverse? Going to the six, I mean, not the Six of Pentacles. Sorry, Spirit. I wanted to go into the King of Cups. All right, let's see. Why is the King of Cups here? Why is the King of Cups here? Going to the King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups here? Judgment. Queen of Pentacles. So this person wants to know. Oh shit! Y'all know I'll take cards on the ground. It flew over. Um, so this person feels like the ex feels like regardless of how much they love them or not, they were here before y'all. They got a stronger bond or connection with them, um, and that they're going to be together regardless if you like it or not. They don't care. Mm -hmm. They just can't wait for you to move on. They're going to keep causing problems. They want you out the picture and fast. And I don't think that's going to happen. So let's see why we got the ex lover here. Let's see why we got the ex lover here. Why is it that here? Yep, see, they come in to tear shit down the tower. So they are crushed. Told you they're gonna cause a lot of problems. They're gonna cause a lot of problems. They are trying to get you out the picture. Some of you guys are gonna find out that you're pregnant. Are you like I said, do I have a child? They're gonna be really upset. Um, so yeah. They are, they are here to cause problems, not make peace. But they're going to try to come off as if, like, oh, I'm here. Like, you know, this, like I don't want them. Like, you know, this is my ex. Da, da, da. But I don't know, y'all. It's just something about this doesn't seem right. Because I want to know what your person has to do with it. Or what's going to happen. So let's see. Let's see. Let us see. How does y'all person feel towards this? Your, um, I said. How does this person feel about their ex? The person that the collective is dealing with, how do you feel towards their ex? The person that the collective is dealing with, how do they feel towards their ex? Swords reverse, we have the hangman in reverse, the devil in reverse, the hermit in reverse. So I feel like what happened was they really wanted their ex at some point in time, but they stopped stressing out about it. I feel like they met you, they let go, they moved on, they moved forward, they detached themselves, and they went towards something new. The hermit to reverse, that's my wanting something new. I do feel like in the back of their mind, they always like kind of thought about this person or like, what are they up to? Like what would happen if we stayed together? Because I feel like they really did want this person, you know, but I feel like their ex didn't really want them or I don't know what the reason is for them breaking up. Um, but it just seems like um, they finally let it go. 
And to them, and what I'm seeing right now is they're going to try their best to not make this be a problem. I don't feel like they know their ex's moves our motives, our intentions. So I feel like if they did, they're going to try to stop it or prevent it as much as they can. But whatever goes on outside of them or behind the scenes, it's like they feel like it's not their problem. It's not their fault. But they do feel like you are going to think that it's them. Like, well, like, why are you even being nice? Why are you talking to them? Why you even care? Something like that, you know? So let's see how the dinosaurs is in reverse with the same men in reverse when it comes to their ex. The tower, yeah. So there was a really bad ending between them. They got hurt really bad, and so they finally let it go. And they were single for a while before they got with you, and they start focusing on work or focusing on other things. They could have met you guys, you know, while they were stepping into, like, you know, um, because the Nine Pentacles is somebody that's very successful. They're going towards success. They're doing big things. So maybe when they broke up with that ex or they broke up, then their life changed for the better, even possibly financially. But for some of you guys, you met this person when they were, like, you know, moving up, going towards success, maybe getting a really good job, something was shifting and changing in their life financially. But if not, they were just single for a long time or for a while before they got with you um, or before they met you and God felt, you know, for each other, there was an a connection here. Yeah, I feel like they were confused about a lot of things, even though it ended badly. I don't feel like this person got closure, but I do see where they're invested in what you guys got. I feel like they put a lot of work and energy and time into that other relationship and they feel played. You know, um, they, they, yeah, they feel played. Mm. Let me see why is this here. I feel like they want to hear this person out. I feel like they're going to forgive this person. I didn't want to hear this person out. I feel like they're doing this for a personal reason, meaning like, because it didn't work out before, but I feel like either they probably didn't get closure or it's just seeing like, they're at the point where they want to just forgive them and move on, but don't want a relationship with them. Three of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, two of Wands reverse. They honestly don't want a relationship with them. But I feel like this ex is going to be messy and try to make it seem to you like, oh, they want me. They're hitting me up. You know, they're calling me. They might have little receipts or screenshots. Now, be careful, y'all. Be careful because I feel like somebody's going to lie and edit some messages or do like some Photoshop or lie or do something and try to make it seem like it's them that's doing this um, when it's not. Or like they're saving them as somebody else or they're just doing something crazy and they're going to send it to you because I see you guys getting upset and really mad and worked up over something that is not as big as you think it is. Like on their end because I feel like your ex is actually really like, I mean, I feel like their ex is actually really the problem. Okay. Um. I don't really honestly see y'all where they were trying to get back with the ex, but I just feel like the way they're moving when it comes to this ex, like around the situation, is going to be suspicious because think about it. If you don't want to be with somebody, why do you care that they move back home? Why are you hanging out with them? Why are you meeting up with them to get like, get closure or whatever I get? But you got to think everybody heals and releases things differently than everybody else. But I just feel like the way they're moving and going about it, do I think it's okay to go meet up with them? No, you know, but... I feel like that's something that they could do over social or whatever. Like, oh, okay, well, glad you're home, whatever, bye. But it's over between us, da, da, da. But I feel like this ex is going to just keep itching. Itching for for, um, for them or wanting some type of attention. Now, I do see them doing something for them. And I feel like that's what's going to piss you off. Because why are you doing something for them? If they're your ex or something like that. You know, like, why do you care? Why are you doing something for them? So I do see where that's going to be a problem. Now, let's see how this ex feels towards your person. Yet they abused Tarot. 
Mm -hmm. They do. They're very controlling. They got the Pin of Pentacles in reverse. Queen of um, Pentacles in reverse. So they do. They're a terror abuser. I mean, like, they pull cards on every little thing. It, like, everything. Like, Y'all, and don't be in the, the and don't be a tarot abuser for those of you that resonate with that message. And y'all know what I mean by a tarot abuser, right? Like, don't keep pulling cards on the same person about the same situation every day, all day. Don't pull tarot and ask questions for every little thing that you have going on in your life. You know what I'm saying? Because then it becomes addictive. And the if the message, this is why I just don't read for myself because we want to see the messages differently than how we take them in, right? Or how we um, accept them. So say like if you are pulling cards on somebody that you are in love with or want to be with. And it's telling you that they moved on and that they're with somebody else. If you are in, really in love with them and you feel how you feel in your mind. You're like, no, they, they're, I'm in love with them. They're in love with me. Like, it's not over. But you're, you're not going to want to accept that message. You know, or if you're like, oh, is there a third party? And then you get the cards. So I don't want to reverse, be a reverse. The devil and you like no they would never do this to me because sometimes we are not accepting of the messages that the universe brings us when we read for ourselves especially about situations but for some of y'all and i'm only telling y'all this not because it came up in the excess energy no but i just feel like that was a message that needed to be said to some of you guys are like i know people that pull it on everything like should i wear this outfit today or they apply to 10 jobs when i get this job laying on the cards out so think about it tarot gives us messages okay it resonates with us. We get the reading. We're like, damn, at some point, they said everything. Oh, my God, this resonates so well. But think about it. Tarot's not going to give you every single thing you need to know when you're constantly pulling cards all the time. Because I feel like life will be different for a lot of people. Trust me, I would have, I would have been in the lottery. You know what I'm saying? So, Tarot is a real thing. Tarot does help you. It gives you messages. You know, um, it helps you shift through energies. It helps move you forward. It gives you clarity and stuff. But when you abuse it, the messages are no longer clear because you are constantly using it over and 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 over again. Okay? So just keep that in mind, all right? For those of you that pull tarot all the time on situations or on your life or certain things, and then when it doesn't unfold or when somebody tells you something different, you're not open to receiving the messages because you're going off what you want to think, feel, or believe versus like really taking on the message that is be that is given to you. Because whoever this ex is, they abuse tarot and you can't tell this person that your person doesn't want them. When I literally just pull cards and seen that they care about them. Yes, this was their ex. They got hurt by them, but they don't want to be with them. They're much happier with you. Why are they going to give them something or do something for them? I don't know. I think it's stupid, you know, but I also feel like your person wants to throw in their face like, oh yeah, I got somebody that's with me. We're committed. We're going to be together. It's a real thing. It's a relationship. And she's giving me something that you couldn't give me or he's giving me something that you can't give me. So I feel like it's also like trying to rub it in like, oh, I got somebody else and you don't. You come back begging for me. So it could be kind of like an ego thing since this person bruised their ego, okay, and treated them like shit. But whoever this person is, five of swords, they're not taking in the messages. They don't want to, if it's not what they want to hear, they don't want to hear it. If it's not what they want to see, they don't want to see it. This can also be somebody that may book with two, three, four, five readers and they all might tell them the same message but in different ways and they're just like, nope, I don't want to hear that. Nope, I don't want to hear that. Nope, I don't want to hear that because they're not open to it because they have control issues. They want things to go their way. Their ego is bruised now. Their ego is in the way. They're working out of a low vibrational energy and they feel like this person is still in love with them when the Ace of Cups is in reverse. Your person cares about them but not in love with them. You know what I'm saying? So it's just a lot. One to the five of swords. They're in inner conflict with themselves. And I feel like they've got the signs and everything to tell them, like, no, this is not going to happen right now. They don't want to believe it. They don't want to trust it. They don't want to believe the message. Why is the five of swords here? See, look, the seven of wands. They, they are even getting in tool with people, spiritualists, readers, other people, because, look, it's not what they want to see, two of swords. So because it's not what they want to see or hear, they're getting upset. And then they're like, all right, I'll just go to somebody else. Listen to another reading. Listen to another message. Okay? Also, y'all got to use discernment in readings, too. All right, let's see. Why is the Page of Pentacles in reverse? Because this person is definitely just doing the most. Why is the Page of Pentacles in reverse? Three of Cups in reverse. Like I said, they feel like they're going to fit in no matter what. They're going to make their way in. But they're not. King of Swords. They feel like they can get your person to change their mind. Okay? Or this is them listening to a message or getting a reading or doing school. Whoever this is, they're into spirituality just like you are. Um... 
they're taking in the message, but they're like, nope, I'm going to turn this around. Yep, I'm going to have the happy ending. I'm going to get what I want. I'm going to get the marriage, the child, the commitment. Yeah, this person is delusional when your person has let them go. But it was okay. Remember, it was okay when their ex let them go and didn't give a fuck about them, you know? But this person is definitely delusional. They're delusional as hell. This person is committed to you. I'm sorry, y'all. Not like this. Look, this person is committed to y'all. They're not. Like I said, I don't even see them sleeping with them or anything. They're going to try to convince or get them to sleep with them. I don't see them doing it. Why is the Ace of Cups in reverse? See, the Emperor, they're in love with somebody else. They care for them, but they're in love with you. They're committed to you. The Magician is here. Two of Pentacles. If they had to choose, they're choosing you. We got the Justice card. Libra, Virgo, Gemini. You balance this person out. You know, I'm not going to lie. Like, your person is crying or hurt about this situation. And I feel like it's because they got to hurt about hurt over this situation. And I feel like they need to let it out. So, some of you guys may, like, come back. Like, this person is coming back. It kind of reminds me of, I don't know if y'all watched Zatima. But it was a situation where, like, um, Fatima's ex came back. Even though he had, like, a little um, situation. I think he... Dang, what did he have? Did he have cancer or something like that? I don't remember exactly. But remember how he came back and she was all like feeling sad and all that for him. And then like Zach was like, he didn't ever understand. He was like, why are you so into your ex? Even though he can't talk because look how he does caring, right? But remember that episode, if y'all watch that and remember um, Zach felt some type of way because um, I said Fatima. Fatima was giving in to her ex. That's kind of like what it's going to be like. But the, your person is going to give into it and then come right out of the energy. You know, because they were hurt. Like, they were really hurt by this person. So, I feel like they want to know what this person has to say. If they're going to apologize. I don't know. Give them closure. Whatever they're going to do. But they were really hurt by them. But you're, this person is delusional and obsessed with your person, um, which is their ex. And like I said, they're purposely, you know, um, putting negative energy on this connection, on your family, your friends, anybody that's in your life. They're trying to cause as many problems as they can. They want you to actually like hate your person and not ever come back and you know so that they can be with them but mm, i don't think that's gonna happen let's see even if your person was even if you were if you so let's see even if you were to leave your person will they still get them back let's see mm -mm. so if you were to leave your person like it will they will move on of course eventually but no, they'll keep their options open. They wouldn't commit to them. And I don't feel like they would commit to anybody anytime soon. So after y'all break up, it will be months before they get with somebody. Mm -hmm. It might even be a year. Now, I will say another situation will come around, you know, for them. No, this is you actually, y'all getting back together. So if you were to walk away or leave, I do see where, like, you know, they'll, like, you know, move forward for the time being, keep their options open. But I see y'all coming back together. So this will be something where y'all come back together. And this time when they come back, they will this they're they'll propose something to you, like marriage or something like that. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys are gonna find out that you're married. I mean, that you're pregnant right after y'all break up. After all this is said and done. And the interesting thing about this though is that y'all been trying to get pregnant. Or like trying to have a baby, trying to get pregnant, and then y'all are gonna break up all because of this situation, and y'all gonna find out y'all pregnant. Your emotions are going to be running high. You're going to be all over the place. But you're really mad and upset because of this situation. And then y'all are going to, you know, feel sick or feel funny or something like that. Be throwing up. Some of y'all are going to feel like sick in the car or like pull over, throw up, like something's going to go on or whatever. There's going to be a reason why you guys go to the hospital or the doctor's office, something like that. Um, hopefully it's not no accident or anything like that. And then you're going to find out that you're pregnant. Okay. So some of y'all, if y'all are on birth control, the birth control ain't working. Okay, I don't know if you missed the day, missed the two, I mean, missed the day or two, or if this baby was just meant to come, but there will be a baby or a pregnancy for some of y'all that want children that were trying, and there was just like a, you know, a failure. Um, let's see. I will say the day that you're going to get pregnant is like, no matter what state you're in, if it's all four seasons, it's going to be... Like a really good day, y'all gonna be a really good mood. It's gonna be like really sunny, and they're gonna take you out, or y'all gonna like go somewhere, like maybe your favorite little restaurant, favorite store, or like I don't know, like this is something small, but it's like a favorite, or like some of you guys did by a park or going to the park or doing something, 
and y'all are gonna have like high passionate sex at night and that's when you're gonna get pregnant but again like i said y'all been trying and nothing has happened or um daughter on birth control but that's not gonna stop this sperm from getting through okay wow interesting so let me pull a message for y'all sorry that this heifer had to come into this room but you know it's the message for somebody spoken you or your partner may prefer not to profess your love right away could be out of fear of rejection let's see what this is about so social expectations yeah learning to let go so i feel like this person doesn't your person doesn't want to really speak up to you about the situation and how it made it how it made it how it made them feel with their ex but they feel like y'all are divinely guided and meant to be the love will be divinely guided trust the process in this relationship you are exactly where you need to be okay so i feel like you're exactly where you need to be at in this relationship this person is a soulmate you know unfortunately shit does happen okay and this person is on look on the rebound looking for something wanting something wanting to reconnect with your person all right and i feel like when this ex comes back like i said it's gonna be a problem it's gonna be an issue and you're gonna feel funny or different because it's gonna be mixed signals mixed energy you know, you're going to feel like they're giving it to something that they shouldn't be giving it to. Or they're not being fair. They're not respecting you and your feelings. But we got fairy tale romance. So this romance will feel magical. It will be an exciting adventure and perhaps a happily ever after. I don't think your person is stupid enough to... Um, I don't think that they're stupid enough to to let this ex come in and ruin what y'all have. I feel like they may, like I said, the way they're going to move, it may be a little suspicious. They may do something, you know... But remember, this person's intentions are really negative and bad. So don't get caught up in everything this ex is saying, what they're showing you, what they're doing, because they're doing this to manipulate and control the situation between y'all. And you got to be like the bigger and stronger person to definitely protect your energy. And like, bitch, sit down because this is my man or this is my woman. I'm not going nowhere. We're not going nowhere. It is what it is. But I feel like you don't even need to say that. It shouldn't even get that far, but it might. All right, y'all. So this is the reading. All right. If it resonates, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And if you guys would love to book, you already know, fireintuition.com. All right. I love y'all. Bye, fire fam.